Hi guys, today I want to show you how you can use a potentiometer uh, to measure the voltage of an unknown cell. And this is the circuit that we're going to have a look at. So I've got uh, V1, uh, which is a driver cell, which I know the voltage for. In fact, I haven't really got a cell. I'm going to use this power supply here set to 4 volts. Okay, then I've got a piece of resistance wire that runs from A to B. I've put it on a meter stick here. I think you can just about see, uh, let me go slower, that there is a piece of wire along my meter stick. Okay, let me give it a little twang. There you go, you can see it there. Okay, now across the wire from A to B, there is a voltage of 4 volts. And then I've set up another cell here, okay, of unknown voltage. We don't know what it is. Don't ignore that 1.5 volts there, but we don't know what it is. And if you look back at the diagram, this is where we were connected up here. Then I've got it going to a galvanometer. Now, I don't have a galvanometer. I'm using an ammeter, but it's, it's fine. Here's my little ammeter here. And you can see, if I go back to the diagram again, that we've got a little connection here that we can slide up and down and then Eventually, what will happen is that the ammeter will rest at zero. If I move this across, let me just see if I can move this over. Okay, okay, the voltage go, uh, the current goes in one direction. If I go in the other direction, okay, the ammeter doesn't really like it, but you can see it's going in the other direction. If I can just find just the sweet spot around around 41 centimeters, there we go. You can see now. Let me just move it ever so slightly over. Now you can see that absolutely almost no current flows at all. Okay? So at this point, the potential from the driver, uh, the driver cell that's across here is equal to the potential produced by the little test cell here. Now we know what the driver cell is doing, we know that's 4 volts, but that's 4 volts going all the way from this end to all the way over there of our meter stick. Now we can use this equation, uh, we say V1 over V2 is L1 over L2, so V1 is the voltage of our driver cell, V2 is our unknown uh, EMF from the unknown cell. We've got L1, which is the length of the meter stick, which is just 1, and then L2, well that's our at 41 centimeters or 0.41. If I rearrange my formula, I get v, uh, V2, which we're trying to find out, is equal to V1 times L2 over L1. So we've got 4 times by 0 0.1, sorry, 0 0.41 divided by 1, and I get roughly 1.6 volts. And if I have a look here, well, uh, this cell's doing pretty well because this is saying about 1.5 volts. So there we go, pretty much working. Bye for now.